good morning from Split. We've just checked out of our Airbnb that we've probably gotten a little bit too comfortable with, so a bit nervous getting back on the road now. Yeah. This is week four? Yeah, week four. Yeah. Yeah. I think so. <laughs> we've got a inland trip now towards Mostar, which is the next leg of the journey. Should take about three days. I think we're gonna try 60 kilometers today, but it's about a thousand meters of elevation to do overall. Yeah. Um, yeah, and it's supposed to rain today as well, which is going to be great. Got a campsite, not booked, but sort of. We found a campsite that we're heading to for tonight, which, yeah, 60 kilometers away. Ready? Not really. Feeling extremely nervous today. I think it's just because we haven't been on the bikes for a couple of days and the city's always a bit. We're off to a great start. Both bikes, the gears are slipping. Someone's not picked up their dog sh** and it's all over my f***ing leg. Shoe, bike. I don't know where from. I just got out of the bike. Oh. Stinked. Should I just put some water on it? Yeah. Just on the outskirts of the city now. It's off a little break. So muggy. But I need coats on because it's going to rain any minute. Oh. seen a sign for six kilometers up here so i am a sucker for this little this little number here which means it's a certified area like yeah, protected area yeah um so we just stopped it's like a bread it's vegan which is cool as well it's vegan certified it's like swiss chard with garlic freshly made every day really nice mm. Mm. Yeah. Nice. Switching between cycling and walking. Uh, <clears throat> I'm talking to the camera. Oh. God, he minds at me when I get. Stay in, we haven't really filmed much today. Just been switching between walking and cycling up a quite steep gradual hill. Um, I've been getting really panicky and they get really close and the roads are like getting worse as well like the, the actual surface so I've got to watch where you're going a bit more I don't reckon we can get through that looks more commercial than a house Locked anyway. Oh, we wanted to go along that bit. Back we go. Oh.
Hello, Prince. Hello. Hello. So you the boss? That's a girl. Yeah. You sound like the boss. It's real steamy inside the lens. Take two. Hello everybody. It's a bit touch and go if this camera is going to keep making it because the waterproof bags aren't very waterproof. Um, yesterday it was it was really hard. It was uphill, but the main problem was like two to three hours before we got to camp, it started chucking it down like wet through to knickers, sort of chucking it down. We got to camp. It's like we arrived in heaven. Absolutely stunning. Really beautiful. They looked at us and were really sorry, so she gave us a shot of grappa each. <laughs> as soon as we got here and just said to just do what you need to do, don't worry about <laughs> paying or whatever, which was lovely. So we stayed here, we've just washed our clothes, maybe sunny all day, there's loads of ants around here. Um, and we are going to be heading into Bosnia today, which is very exciting, new country. It's also a country um, where we don't have phone data, which sounds silly, but in being in the 21st century, everywhere that we've travelled for the past couple of years, we've always had um, phone data to be able to check the route or whatever. So we've had to like save maps, make sure that we're going the right way. Um, and then, yeah, in, not tonight, but tomorrow we should arrive in Mostar. <gasps> <laughs> Poor microphone. Thank you. <laughs> Bye. Ciao. Got my arms out today, my new vest that my husband picked out for me. And a cap on. We're trying to avoid the main road as much as possible, especially when we're especially when we're walking pace. These old roads join up across to take you off this fast. Horrible. Ah! Run, rabbit, run, 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 run. Watch the deeper than it looks. Turning left in 3k apparently. Up to 640 elevation. A minute. Should be downhill. 650! Should be downhill now. Can we get down this? Well, we're gonna have to find a way down, but it doesn't look fucking very promising. What the fuck? Oh, commute you fucking asshole. Ain't no way, mate. Ain't no way. Of all the the amount of nicer paths that we've missed this morning because of Kamut and it takes us off one way you can't even f***ing get down. Okay. And then come down that sh So we've swapped the second across to Enduro mountain biking from gravel riding because otherwise it's going to be those busy main roads the whole way. So let's see how far this takes us before a dead end. One's from my front, one's from my back wheel. <laughs> Better be right. <laughs> I don't want to push back up. I don't think we'd be able to push back up this. Go on, after you. We're about two miles from the Bosnian border. We've just stopped and turned our internet off because we don't want to get done dirty by... We have crossed a land crossing via bike with a border. Hi. 
that was us leaving, now we've got to enter Bosnia. Oh, really? Yeah. Somewhere. Oh, oh, hi. Oh, <laughs> Where are you travelling? Uh, Grud. Grud, Gr Gr yeah, tonight, and then down to Mostar. Mostar. Mm -hmm. Sleeping, Motel Kiwi? Ah, yeah. Nice. Oh, <laughs> it's very nice there. Oh, good. Yeah, we slept at a campsite last night and got really wet <laughs> in a tent. Oh, yes. <laughs> it was raining. <laughs> Enjoy. Have a Thank nice you. trip. Bye. Bye. Bosnia. Hello, Bosnia and Herzegovina. They're sweet. Lovely border. Would recommend. Oh, you want your cross on now? You smuggled it in yeah. illegally. Camus, 900, sorry, wagon coming. What a lovely room. I was not expecting this, no offence. As soon as we pulled up here, looks like we're the only key that's been taken. You looked quite shocked that we were here, like booking.com. You like looked at his phone, like, ah. But yes, just arrived. I think there's a restaurant on site, so we're just gonna, it's like four o'clock, half four. So we've got a couple of hours, just gonna chill. I need a shower, my hair is disgusting. Um, we'll catch you in the morning, heading into most stuff. Should we watch some Bosnian TV? <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. I can't cope. That's like serious, isn't it? <laughs> she looks stunning, I want her kitchen. <laughs> Look at it. <laughs> Wow, I'm not laughing at the cocktail. I just opened the first channel. It comes on, could be any more Bosnian if you tried it. Good morning. Woo. Lovely day for it. So, we're just about to leave our motel called Kiwi Motel. Literally the warmest welcome here. Really great start to Herzegovina, which is the bit we're in. I think most starts in Herzegovina as well. But yeah, really excited for today. I think we've got about four or five hours. Is that right? Yes. Anyway, so after we fix the display now, we're going to be making our way to Mostar about four or five hours. Just about calmed down after the projector incident. He's on them spring loaded, like whoop, big screens. Bike just fell over when I started talking to Danny. <laughs> I'm going to blame Danny. And it just retracted. It was enough to knock the pin out of the thing. It's bang. But it didn't fold in probably because I was worried I creased it, but it looked all right. So we just put it away and left. I don't think they were projecting anything today anyway. I don't know. <laughs> no, it still worked. I just, it was too tall to put back up. Now you're going to get the poor ladies sat on chairs. Like beating fast, I'm like, <laughs> so warm. 10 a.m. and it is scorching already. Looks like it goes downhill for a little bit. You get a nice breeze. Yesterday we seen a shedded snake skin or a dried up snake, and the snake had just and just been run over. That was still crawling, just about. Um, so we're really trying to be a bit careful where we go for. Wee wee's en route because I really don't want to get bitten by a snake. I haven't even googled if there are any venomous snakes here or what. I don't know what we're up against. At least we've got a nurse with us. I'm scared of you, aren't I? I see it. Can I? It's shining. Just gone in there. Come out round me. I'm a snake. 
come up around. No, 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 not Where inside. Is it? In this bit here, quite big, about as big as that one we seen on the road yesterday. Don't go. I said go around me, mate. No, the outside, not closer to the snake, you f***ing ah! idiot. I literally just said that we've seen snakes. Well, well, That's what they say, but I don't know. To be fair, I don't mind snakes, as long as they don't come towards me. I don't want to go near one particularly, but spiders I'm more worried about. Yeah, try and keep a little bit away. As like a dark, very dark green. Probably just a grass snake or something, to be honest, I don't know. I'm not a uh, snake expert. Yeah, well, camping's going to be fun. Fifty kilometers an hour! Fifty-five kilometers an hour! Speed limit's forty! <laughs> 60! You know, it's enough. How fast do you reckon we went? Huh? How fast do you reckon we went? <laughs> 60 kilometers an hour. Huh? 60k. What, well, we were? Yeah. <laughs> That's like, not quite 40, I don't think. 50 is 30 miles an hour. We did 50 for quite a bit at the time, and I went up to about 60. <laughs> Just over 60.1 or something, 6.2. My brakes are hot now, and I'm rubbing. <laughs> Build a bird. Both on my skin and my legs. I'm surprised at how little my bum's been an issue. Like it hurts to begin with at the start of the day, but that's what the saddle was for, wasn't it? Worth it. Yeah, Sorry, it. dodgy camera angle that went. Yeah, I, that was like the thing I was worried about the most, but which you've been the least of we, least of our It's been the legs, hasn't it? Yeah. Legs and knees. Just missed it. Well, like fox or a dog or something. Didn't they add me? Looked um, blonder than a, a fox. Oh my good God. Bump. Just had a couple of close calls, my bottle fell out. The drains here, my little 700c tyres fit directly in the gaps. So I went bang, bang, straight into it. Don't know how far the wheel went in. Felt that. Come out round. Them little buggers. It's upside down. Uh, just 18 kilometers away now, maybe a bit less. Just stopped off for our first Bosnian supermarket experience. Sent Danny in, do the recce. Got a juice box, mm -hmm. that same, red orange. It's nice. Some pretzels. Peanuts. It's like main road for most of the way there now, yeah. which we don't particularly enjoy, but got to be done when you're going to a relatively big city, isn't it? We all got pill. Uh, big push at the end. Get them snacks in. Might have spoke a bit too soon on the chafing and saddle issues. Got 10k to go, 10.6 kilometers, and I uh, just started to feel a bit pain. Mm -hmm. um, I've got some chafing back when we get on our next leg of the journey. Onwards! Just following Kamut to dodge a bit of the main road. Might be quite hard. You alright? That's sharp, mind. jungle trying to miss the main road which I don't know if it was such a good idea after all. Oh, oh it's a snake there. Oh green head. Go careful around that one. 
Oh, uh, wrinkle. If it wasn't for the scar on my left, I literally would be in the forest still somewhere. <laughs> you struggled by it, didn't you? Mm. We're a team there. I was, was just hard so going. hot and then I couldn't catch my breath. And then I was panicking and it was just all uphill and then I knew we had to get back on the big scary road. I was just like, oh my God. But we're here now. We're here in Mostar. looks absolutely stunning. Seeing lots of photos. We're going to go walk around. We're, we're pretty much in the centre mm. in our Airbnb. So cheap. It was like... Twenty-seven pounds a night. Yeah, which is insane. So full apartment. It's we're really going to go get some barbecued food because that's what they love here. Lots of meat. Very heavy on the meat. Might get might get a veggie one. I'm not sure. <laughs> um, and yeah, also going to go see the war museum. Bit of a heavy subject, but we were watching more yeah. videos on it last it's, night, and it's just yeah, it's horrific. even worse than we first thought. Yeah, back in the early nineties, wasn't it? It's like just not even that long like... ago. It's like crazy. So yeah, we're going to go. Maybe to that today, maybe tomorrow, I'm not sure. Yeah, we've got two nights here, and then we start the next leg of our journey, which we haven't said about yet, which will be a new video. We are tackling the Chiro Trail. More on that next week. It looks really exciting. Yeah. <laughs> it's um, along an old railway line, but we'll save that for next week. But it is men of rain as well, so... We might stay here for a bit longer, maybe we don't know. We'll Who knows? <laughs> no particular place to go. <laughs> So that's our time, unfortunately, up in Mostar. We've had a bit of a change of plan, mainly down to weather and also my birthday. Um, we were going to be tackling the Chiro Trail, but the rain is supposed to come in pretty hard for about seven days in a row or something stupid, and it's just not going to do the trail justice. So we're going to get a train, which is once a day, up to the capital of Sarajevo. Spend a couple of days there for my birthday, so I'm not soaking wet on my birthday. Um, and we've just fallen in love with the country really so we want to explore it a bit more and to get to Sarajevo from England we would have to go up to a London airport, Luton is the only one and then from there into Sarajevo and just because we're so close, only a two hour train ride, trains about £10 each so we're going to do that in a couple of days. Um, leave the bikes here, the guy with the Airbnb is really kind, letting us leave the bikes here whilst we're away, come back and tackle that Taco, taco, be yeah, hungry. Tackle the Chiro Trail when we're back, which we're really excited for. Woo. Thank you to our patrons. We'll see you next week.